It is the butt crack of dawn, and it's so early. I haven't been up this early since, I guess, the children were still babies. Today's adventure brings us east outside the city. We're in the Maralake area, and I thought we'd get an early start, but apparently people are awake a heck of a lot earlier than I am. Who knew? I haven't been up this early since the kids were babies. Anyway, the reason why we're up in the east mountains right now is because well, we're fortunate enough to live in an apartment building with a balcony, but Lisa was kind of hoping that I'd bring home some plants, and I promised that I would this week. Even though this week, though, that gasoline prices are supposed to go down by just a little bit, it's still over 80 pesos a liter, and that's still ridiculous. Kind of like his muffler. So I thought it would be a good idea to do this adventure in a car that's actually very, very fuel efficient, which is why we decided to bring that, the all-new Suzuki Celerio. Now, my wife being my wife, she is very specific when it comes to what plants it is that she wants to be able to display on our balcony. So she gave me a very specific list. And I'm actually only looking at the list now and it's weird. Monstera, that sounds kind of big. And then she asked for a begonia. What is a pothos? Isn't that a musketeer? Oh wait, that's Athos. I'm not exactly a plantito, so this is my first time. I normally just buy them on the side of the road, so to speak. But I'm guessing if you want specific plants, that this might be the area to come to. So we'll start off at Capesina Una on the side of the road uh, to get some coffee, fuel up, and then head out on our adventure for today. Honestly, don't really know exactly where it is that we're going today. I am basing this on what Danny and Frankie told me about there are about there being plants in the Marilake area. So me, being the trusting guy that I am, decided to say, okay, they must know what happens in the east, even though they live in the south. Maybe not the greatest idea. Also, in hindsight, it may not have been the greatest of ideas to perhaps take the Celerio out to get plants in an area that I'm not really used to. But truth be told, it's actually not that bad of idea simply because, well, fuel consumption figures on this automobile, uh, Suzuki claims that you can do about 28 kilometers per liter on the highway, which is pretty large uh, inside the city heading out of Metro Manila and into the Manalaka area, which is it's pretty much uphill no traffic and we were still doing 16 and a half kilometers per liter so really not bad second is that this all new Celerio actually has a bit more ground clearance than the previous generation so if we were to get into a little bit of let's say rough roady patches and potholes and whatnot while we're loading the car with lots of plants then it's really a great idea isn't it you're probably asking why the Suzuki Celerio? I'm out in the Maralake area getting plants in a Celerio. Not that bright, but hear me out. Number one, this is the new Celerio. It's bigger, it's a little wider, it's a little taller, it's got much more space. So really, it can handle the job. Number two, it's a heck of a lot more fuel efficient. Yes, diesel engines are definitely more fuel efficient. Yes, granted. And the perfect car to do this would have been a pickup truck. But I'm trying to prove that you can do even these things uh, with a Suzuki Celerio because it's extremely fuel efficient. And if you think about it, if we had plants, although they live outside, but if we had plants in this hard rain and these winds that I'm traveling at, by the time we get back into the city, the plants might be dead. Quick facts about the Suzuki Celerio. Up front, you've got a one liter three cylinder that produces 66 horses and eight, nine unimeters of torque mated to either a five speed manual 
or a AGS or automatic gear shift. Now, the way that this thing acts is that it's like like a manual transmission in that sense that you can feel the gear changes. But what that all really means in total is that you are saving so much when it comes to fuel efficiency. Although it's a little bit greasy out there right now, um, I figure since this is Marilake, let's kick her down into manual and figure out what that is all about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, this is a trip. It is definitely fun to drive a car that isn't that fast fast. It's a lot more fun than driving a fast car slow. That's for sure. Let's downshift one more time. Yeah! Feel it! <laughs> this, this is a trip. I'm so glad we're outside of the city. Okay, okay, okay. Enough of that. Back to fuel economy. Uh, that's why we're here after all. Let's, let's get some plants. In this rain, I am gonna get so dirty. <laughs> Good morning. Nagahanap po ako ng halaman para sa misis ko. Ayun, uh, may listahan ako kasi hindi ko kabisado. Oh, list, may listahan talaga. <laughs> eh, hindi ko kabisado to mga to. Um, Monstera. Madami Monstera? May A, B, C, D ba ang Monstera? Wow, medyo malaki yata yan. Okay, so ito ang tinatawag na Monstera. Itong dalawa. Dragon Tail at saka Juvenile. Juvenile. <laughs> and then yung isa is begonia. So meron begonia. Okay. Uh, meron rin ba kayong... Ito, pothos? Wow, lahat meron. All right. One stop shop. Meron rin... May mga... Or... Ayun, ito alam ko. Orchids. May mga orchids ba kayo? Ito, orchids to, no? Philodendron. Philo lahat yan. Philosophy, meron? Kasi philosopho ako. <laughs> may dark lords. Sinabi mo may dark lords? Mrs. ko yun. You have failed me for the last time. Yun ang gusto ko makita. Pink la painted lady. Green dragon. You know what? If cars named themselves like plants, they'd probably sell like 20 billion more. Because these, these names are awesome. Burly Mac. Burly Mac. Ay, si Bernie Mac, patay na yun, di ba? May tenga ba kayo ng elepante? Elephant Yeah. Ano yun? Ano po yun? Alocasia. Alocasia. Location? Alocasia. Alocasia. Parang gabi. Elephant's ear. We hit the mother load. Everything that we need is here. Ano pangalan nitong tindahan nyo? Yes Market. Yes Market. Because do you have everything? Yes, we do. Okay, yan. Ito ang challenge natin. So, hindi gaano kalaki ang kotse na dala namin. Pero napaka fuel efficient. Kaya dinala namin itong Suzuki Celerio na to. So, ang question is, lahat ng mga halaman na sinabi ko, kakasya ba sa loob ng kotse? Kasya yan. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Let's get started. Malalim naman, papasok naman, so pwede naman nakatayo yung kahit mataas na halaman. Pwede ko tanggalin tong tunaw na to. Diba? Para mat... Kung... Diba? Kasang-kasa, diba? Ang tangkad, oh. Malaki po ang space. Oh, laki ng space. Kahit maliit yung kotse, laki-laki ng space, no? Kahit maliit din yung driver. Ikaw, no comments from the peanut gallery. Okay? Please, be quiet. Buti nga kumasa ka sa loob ng kotse. Okay, so... So dito, pwede tayo maglagay. So, uh, tapos kung kulang tayo ng espasyo, pwede naman ibaba yung mga upuan para flat siya. Okay. And then, kung kailangan tayo magsabit, pwede naman tayo magsabit ng mga halaman dito. 
right? So, okay siya. Um, sa tingin ko yung mga matatangkad dito lang sa likod. Okay. I love it. We stopped at one place and they've got all the plants that we need. This is amazing. This is awesome. We'll be back in the city in like five minutes. Kunin ko na si Dragon Tail. Wow! Okay, this is heavy. Uh, huh. Look at that! It fits! Looks like it's a samurai sword. I'm a regular green thumb! <laughs> but my thumbs are brown. How are we gonna... There you go! Look at that, huh? It's a regular lush garden. Oh. I feel like Sir David Attenborough, where we are talking about plants and how they sustain life and they are vital to the world's survival in these times of sheer peril where we must work as one together. This is called Bernie Mac. That dude was a funny guy. When a kid get one year old, I believe you got the right to hit him in the throat or the stomach. Why does it smell like diesel? <laughs> diesel. So the next, the next challenge is being able to close it without killing anything. I think that's good. Begonia. Eyelash begonia. Eyelash begonia. Thank you. So, magkano lahat? I have a feeling. 500. 4,050? Ibaba lahat. Ibaba. Ibaba lahat. Ibaba. Seriously though, 4,050 pesos for plants? Can you imagine how much money we could get if we sell all the golf courses inside the city? We can make an army of 4,050 bucks for plants. 4,050 bucks. The new Suzuki Celerio is wider with a longer wheelbase, which increases passenger room and adds to its already impressive boot size, bringing it to 295 liters. No longer boxy, it's now packed on some great curves, a new grill, and blacked out 15-inch wheels. The dark interior features tech like a 7-inch Sony infotainment system with phone mirroring that truly lets you live big every moment, and an engine auto start-stop system that aids its amazing fuel efficiency. You've also got buttons on your steering wheel to control your audio and a large speedometer accompanied by a quaint digital tachometer that also serves as your trip computer. Other tech includes ABS with EBD, stability control, and rear parking sensors as standard. Hill hold control is also available on the AGS variant. So it turns out today wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it was gonna be because, well, all the plants that we needed was all in one place. The Suzuki has great space. I'm a poet, I didn't even know it. What really shocked me though is the boot space. See, I wasn't expecting an automobile of this size to have such a large boot, such a deep boot as well. Now, everybody knows that the Celerio is great for inside the city, but what we wanted to show that despite its more modest power figures, that you still are able to take it out of the city every once in a while to perhaps maybe reconnect with nature. And in fact, you can bring home nature with you. To learn more about the all-new Suzuki Celerio, head on over to autodeal.com.ph where we have the complete list of specifications and price list for the car as well, and perhaps maybe even go for a test drive.